What is going on guys? Welcome to Gregel's TV Daily Rewind, episode 12. We are almost not a baby anymore. We're almost a teenager. Next week we'll be a teenager, but this week we're still in our pre-teens. And if you didn't know what this show is all about, this show goes back the previous week and talks about that tech news. You can watch all those episodes that I released every single day in one single episode. So it's from August 20th through August 26th. And some of the things we're gonna talk about are the Pixel 3 XL seen on a subway. We're gonna look at that phone really, really closely. We're also gonna talk about the Note 9's most popular combination. So is it with 128 gigabytes, six gigabytes of RAM, blue, purple, whatever, we'll talk about that, whatever the most popular combination is. A Galaxy S10 colors, what colors you'll be able to get the Galaxy S10 in. The Pixel 3 price, it's extremely low. Uh, new Note 9 gifts if you buy, buy the phone right now, so, and more, a lot more of the guys. So enjoy the episode, let me know what you think in the comments down below, and I'll see you in the next one. First story of the day is about the Galaxy View tablet. If you remember what the Galaxy View tablet was their tablet that was 18.4 inches big, this huge tablet that had a handle and it stood up and it was just humongous. It was one of the biggest uh, tablets that I had ever, definitely I had ever seen and I ever used. I actually really liked it a lot. It replaced televisions early if you wanted to and obviously it was a tablet all in one. Now the cool thing is Samsung is coming out with a successor for this tablet. It's going to be the Galaxy View 2. It'll be available through AT&T and also retail shops as well. Now this one's going to be slightly smaller with a 17.5 inch display. It'll also have a 30 degree angle like a drafting desk. So if you want to you know, hold it up to a 30 degree angle, you'd be able to. Also, you'll be able to stand it upright like a laptop, and there's no handle either. As for specs, it looks like it's only gonna have a three gigabytes of RAM, a full HD display, which is the same as the last year's version, and an Exynos processor. It will not also have deck support, so if you wanted to use this as a desktop computer, it won't have that. That's being saved for the flagship versions of Samsung devices. It's supposed to have the ability to be able to run multiple windows at once, supposedly up to four windows at once. So if you're interested in huge, huge tablets, this should be out, I would assume, by the end of this year. And the last story of the day is that the Pixel 3 XL has been leaked again. I think this is the third time in the wild. Someone's on a train and they have their Pixel 3 XL. Um, and you can see from the back, it looks very similar to what you would expect the Pixel 2 XL to even look like. And obviously this is the Pixel 3 XL because when we go to the next photo, you see that big or somewhat big notch at the top that sticks out like a sore thumb. And uh, it's mostly all screen except for the bottom there. You have that big bezel at the bottom that'll house the speaker so that you get stereo speakers. And then uh, overall, again, it's just a, a, a Pixel device. So if you're into Pixel devices, you might love this. Notches aren't everyone's favorite thing. I really don't know too many people that do like the notch, but this one will have the notch. And then you can see to the left and the right of the notch, uh, you do get uh, the uh, time on the left, and then you also get other uh, notifications as well. And so, again, I don't love the design, but I'm definitely interested in trying this device. Let's get into the news. The first story of the day comes out of T-Mobile and the Galaxy Note 9. They have pushed out an update that allows you to record video in 960 frames per second, uh, which will be basically 0.4 seconds of video. It makes that 12 seconds uh, total of slow motion video. They push this update out for Galaxy Note 9 customers. It also includes the August security patch as well. So when T-Mobile customers begin to get their phones today, tomorrow, the next day, and so forth, you will have that August update waiting for you. So make sure when you're on your phone, go into settings and then go check for updates and install the newest update for the Galaxy Note 9. So you have the latest security and the latest features for your Galaxy Note 9. And the last story of the day is very interesting and very telling, I think, uh, to say the least. And that is that the most popular version of the Galaxy Note 9 in South Korea, and I'd have to guess everywhere in the world, is the 512 gigabyte version, which goes for $1,249 in the color of blue. So that option is the most popular out of all the versions they have. Obviously, they only have a 128 and a 512, but they have that in both colors of lilac purple and in the blue as well. 
and that's exactly the one I chose. I chose the blue 512 gigabyte version and I chose it because the color looks badass and also I want all that storage so I don't have to throw a micro SD card um, at that point. I mean, you can still throw a micro SD but I personally won't need it at that point. How is everyone doing? Let's get into the news. The first story of the day is people that got the Galaxy Note 9 through T-Mobile, a select few of you have been given delivery dates of either the 21st or the 22nd and now some of those dates are being pushed back to either the 23rd or 24th of this week. So if you have T-Mobile and uh, you ordered this phone, you were expecting on a certain date, you might wanna double check it because some people's delivery dates are getting pushed back. They've had a handful of you guys saying that to me. So again, just double check. Otherwise, uh, people are already starting to receive the phones. I'm getting pictures sent to me uh, showing the boxes and things like that. So congratulations. Mine arrives today as well. I'll do my unboxing video and first thoughts tomorrow as well on mine. But in the meantime, enjoy your Galaxy Note 9 if you receive it today. Next up, the Pixel 3 XL has leaked again with even more information on this phone. First, let's look at the photos again. And you can see this first photo is uh, what's inside the box. And this, I believe, is an international version, obviously, because it has the international plug uh, on the bottom right. That's not a plug that we use here in the United States. But overall, you're going to get the same thing. You're going to get the headphones, uh, which are going to be USB Type-C. You're also going to get uh, other cables as well, like adapters and headphone adapters. Uh, and then the phone, obviously. Uh, and then looking at pictures of the phone, um, it's a glass back. And I know it's a glass back because I pulled this from a video posted on this website and it shows that it has wireless charging. So wireless charging finally in the Pixel phone. I know it's been in a lot of other phones forever. Uh, and this is the third generation of the Pixel phone, but the Pixel phone will have wireless charging. And then this white variant, kind of cool, has that little lime green kind of button. I think it's a nice accent color. It really makes it pop, but not too much so that it takes away from the color of the phone. Uh, if I had to choose, I might choose this white color. I think it's really, really nice looking. Uh, color for the phone and then just overall the front of the phone you can see if you like it and it looks whatever i mean it's a big notch not a huge fan of the notch but i'm definitely willing to try it and then an another interesting uh bit from this leak is that he also released some photos this is again these uh images and things are from roast Tekid. i probably messed that up i, I believe he's russian um, I could be wrong on that, but uh, anyways, uh, these photos are really, really cool looking. Uh, the Pixel already takes great photos, and uh, this is no different. I'm just excited to try the camera on the Pixel 3 XL. And our last story of the day is coming from Ice Universe, who's been a huge leaker, especially with Samsung products, and he's leaked out the potential colors of the Galaxy S10. Now, the potential colors you can see right here, which the phone is nicknamed uh, Beyond, and it says the candidate colors are black, white, green, silver, and pink. Now, obviously not all those colors will probably be available here in America or wherever you live as well, but um, regardless, you, those are the colors that most likely they're gonna be able to choose from once the Galaxy S10 launches in either February, March of 2019. Out of those colors, I'd probably, unless the green looks amazing, I'd probably either choose white or black at that point. I don't know, maybe I have to see them obviously in person, but kind of weird that they're not gonna come out with some other, you know, uh, extravagant, extravagant type colors like the purple or the blue. Uh, these kind of, those pastel type colors, they're gonna come out with more traditional colors with the S10, even though the S10 is a completely redesign of what they've released in the past for phones. Let's get into the news. If you remember those guys that have been leaking so much about the Pixel 3 XL phone, uh, they're basically, I guess they're, I guess they're Russian. And, uh, <laughs> and they have leaked out more information on this phone. It's almost on a daily basis that they're leaking out more information on this phone. And the latest is about the price of this phone, which is crazy, crazy low. Now they're saying that the marketing strategy for the third generation as we know it and the pattern described in this material looks simple. To supply the Google Pixel Bud headphones, which are separately priced at 159 bucks. So you're gonna get the, the wired Pixel headphones. Um, also the price for the small phone, which would be the Pixel 3, is $649. And for the large one, which would be the Pixel 3 XL, 
$749. And again, the headphones are included with this price of the phone. Now this is a huge, huge deal. Um, those versions that they're pricing out, I'm assuming there's gonna be two versions for each phone. It'll be a 64 gig version, and I believe that will be the price starting off. So you're probably looking at 649 for the, again, Pixel 3 with 64 gigs of uh, storage and then 749 for the Pixel 3 XL with 64 gigs of storage. So if you don't need more storage than that, you're looking at a really well-priced phone, especially in 2018 versus other phones that are out right now. I know you'll get more storage with and more RAM, say, with a uh, uh, Note 9 or with a S9 Plus or some other phone, but a lot, you know what? P Pixels don't need all that RAM. They really, really don't. I have a Pixel 2 XL and it only has four gigabytes of RAM and it's one of the fastest phones I have ever used. Um, so I'm assuming the start will probably still be a phone, uh, uh, one with 128 or maybe even 256 gigabytes of storage that costs more than that, probably $100 more than those prices that I mentioned uh, earlier. We'll have to wait until we officially find out those prices or maybe they'll only have 64 gig versions, which would shock me, but I would be, I don't think they'll end up doing that. I still think they'll do 64 and 128. But anyways, low prices thus far looking on the Pixel 3 and 3 XL. And the last story of the day is about the Galaxy Note 9. If you are looking to get the ordered gifts with this phone, I'm talking about either the V-Bucks that go along with Fortnite and the skin along with that, or those headphones, which I have right here, which I am gonna do a review on, these ones. These headphones right here, the uh, AKG N60 headphones, you have to pre-order it by today, it's over after that. I'm assuming they'll probably still have other gifts they give you that are different, maybe even better, so maybe you do wanna wait, but if you want those gifts, you don't wanna lock those in, you need to pre-order tonight. I will link it down below um, where you can pre-order it directly from Samsung or you know, maybe you just wanna go do it through your carrier. The other thing to keep in mind is if you wanna get 3% cash back plus $10 more, I always mention it, I'll have a link down below for Ebates. I use Ebates all the time for my shopping and um, you'll get cash back on almost every site that you shop at, especially samsung.com. Let's get into the news. The first story of the day is if you have a Galaxy Note 9, you know that there's a Bixby button on the phone and it's on the side. I have my phone charger right now, but it's that third button down on the left-hand side. And if you press it, Bixby turns on, or maybe if you accidentally push it, thinking it's the volume button, again, Bixby gets launched. Previously on the Galaxy S9, S9 Plus, you could actually disable that Bixby button. What you do is you'd press that Bixby button and Bixby screen would launch up in the top right, hit those three dots, and then there was a button in there to disable Bixby. Well, it looks like Samsung has removed that feature and there is no way to disable the Bixby button on the Galaxy Note 9, at least not without an extra app or you know, more hard work to put in than able to just go through the settings of Bixby. Kind of an annoyance, unfortunately. Uh, so if you're looking to disable it currently, there is no way to do that. Anyways, if, when that does happen, I will definitely make a video on it if we're able to ever do that. And the last story of the day is also about the Galaxy Note 9. The Galaxy Note 9 was released officially today, so a lot of you guys have probably already received your Galaxy Note 9s. I know Best Buy finally shipped at least my father's Galaxy Note 9. I know some other people got theirs shipped last night, meaning they still wouldn't get it tonight. They'll probably get it either Saturday or Monday. My dad's getting his on Monday. So it looks like Best Buy orders are gonna be received on Monday, but that's not fully what I wanted to talk about. If you bought a Galaxy Note 9, there is a way to get the Fortnite Galaxy skin. Now, even though you may have chose the headphones as your free gift, there's still a way to get that. Samsung Galaxy skin for Fortnite, and it says only one Galaxy skin is granted per device, and you can see Galaxy skin redemption steps. So first of all, you should have purpose purchased a Galaxy Tab S4 or a Galaxy Note 9. What you need to do is download and install Fortnite on your phone, and you can just go into the Galaxy App Store. So go into all your apps on your uh, phone, and then go into the Galaxy App Store, download and install Fortnite. Next, what you wanna do is once that's installed and open, you need to play three matches on your Note 9 or Tab S4. And then when you return to the lobby after playing three matches, either if you won or eliminated, after you return to the lobby within 24 to 48 hours, you're going to receive a gift box 
in Fortnite with your Galaxy skin. All you do is tap the gift box to open and you can use your Galaxy skin that way. So it's still pretty nice of Samsung, especially if you're a Fortnite lover. If you didn't choose the Fortnite gifts, maybe you choose the headphones, you can still get that Galaxy skin for your Fortnite character. So let's get into the news. Only story of the day is about the Pixel 3 XL and there was an unboxing leaked online on YouTube. It shattered, shattered, took some screenshots from it, it's from, uh, ends up being a Russian girl that ends up doing it, a beautiful Russian girl, let's check it out. So I'm not gonna use the video because I don't wanna get copyright on this, so I just, like I said, took some of the screenshots from the video and let's check those out. You can see the first screenshot we have is her holding the phone in hand and the phone looks gigantic in her hands. That's because the phone is rumored to have a display of 6.7 inches. Now you take into effect how large the screen is on the Galaxy Note 9, which is 6.4 inches, and then add another 0.3 inches. This phone looks humongous. And then it also has some bezels uh, for the speakers and things at the top and at the bottom, and the phone looks even bigger than before. So very big looking phone so far for the Pixel 3 XL in hand. Next up, you can see the Pixel Buds uh, that are wired here. They'll be USB Type-C headphones and they'll have Google Assistant built into it so you can interact with Google Assistant with these headphones. Again, nothing new, but you know, just to see it in another light. The next photo is her holding the phone in hand, uh, taking a selfie. Again, you can see how beautiful she is. And then the next photo is the actual photo, or at least one of the photos that she took with this and the photo looks great. Pixel phones always take really nice photos. Another photo after this uh, showing out uh, the bokeh background, you know, that blurred type background and then putting the subject you know, in focus. It just looks really, really nice, looks super professional. And then the back of the phone, this is the white one which has like the plasticky looking type back. I like it, I think it looks really nice. Uh, it's gonna have wireless charging built into it, Snapdragon 845 four gigabytes of RAM, at least 64 gigabytes of storage. I would also imagine it's probably gonna have either 128 or 256 gigabytes uh, on the higher end. So what do you guys think about that Pixel 3 XL? Let me know in the comments down below. Is, a, is it a phone that you're personally going to pick up? I am pr pretty much definitely gonna buy it unless you know something happens, but otherwise I'll definitely pick that one up. I'm excited about trying that Pixel 3 XL, see what new kind of things they bring to it. Maybe they won't bring anything new. Maybe it'll just be a brand new phone and again, it won't be, besides wireless charging and a, maybe a bigger display, maybe it won't have anything different over the Pixel 2 XL, we'll have to wait and see. How is everyone doing? Let's get into the news now. You know the Galaxy Note 9 just came out and the pre-order deals ended with that. Well, they have new offers if you order the phone right now on samsung.com. And the new offers are actually slightly better, I think, anyway, for me they would be better. So, if you buy the phone, the Galaxy Note 9, uh, you get a Galaxy Note 9, plus you get a free dual wireless charger and your choice of Galaxy Note 9 cover. Now, so obviously the cover is a case. So you get a free case with this, which is, it ends up being anywhere from a $65 value or a $40 or $60 value as well. So right off the bat, you get a free Samsung case. And then after that, like I said, you get your free wireless, dual wireless charger where you can charge two phones wirelessly, a watch and a phone, two watches, whatever you want on there wirelessly, and that's $120 value. So very cool, uh, cool offers from Samsung if you order a Galaxy Note 9 right now. And lastly, LG's flagship phone, which will be the LG V40, has leaked out in some renders, and then we also have some specs for it. First, let's give some primary specs on here, looking at a 6.5 inch, 1440 by 3120 pixels uh, resolution on that display. So really, really high resolution display. 16 megapixel camera there can record 4K video. Eight gigabytes of RAM and a Snapdragon 845 that matches the Galaxy Note 9. 3300 milliamp battery, which is fairly small, especially for a screen that size. Maybe it'll have amazing optimization. Uh, also, it's expected to be released in September of 2018. It'll run Android 8.1, and it'll also have 256 gigabytes of storage and a micro SD slot. Looking at this first photo, you can see the front and the back. On the back, you see three cameras. This is what, same thing you should see on the next Galaxy S10 phone, three cameras on the back. This one's already gonna have three cameras, the fingerprint sensor on the back, V43 uh, thin Q below that, and then the LG logo below that. Uh, on the front of the phone, you're gonna see it has two cameras on the front, so that's right, five total cameras on here. 
Uh, then you see a speaker, and then you see that big large display. It also has the notch at the top, so if you're not a fan of notches, obviously you're not gonna love this phone. Um, the next image that we're gonna look at is actually gonna show something I think will make quite a few people happy, and that's if you look in the bottom left on the front of the phone, you will see a, that's right, you'll see a headphone jack. So it, it's gonna have a regular genuine headphone jack, and if you're looking for more phones that have headphone jacks, the LG V40 Thin Q will have it. So spec-wise, the LG V40 Thin Q is looking like an absolute beast. Uh, we'll see what it comes in price-wise, if it's gonna be lower, more expensive. I'm assuming they're kinda actually gonna push it to a higher price just to make it people think it's kind of like a mind play where they you know make people think hey it's this super expensive phone you want it you it's out of reach but you want it i, it, I just feel like that's what they're going to end up doing is a really high price but overall it looks like a very exciting phone spec wise thanks for watching guys don't forget to subscribe new videos every single day a question to you guys is What's the better order deal if you got a Galaxy Note 9? Is it the pre-order deal that we had where uh, if you pre-ordered it, you got either uh, the AKG headphones, these headphones right here, uh, or a 15,000 V-Bucks for Fortnite, or is it better now where you get a free Samsung case and also the dual wireless charger? I personally think, like I said, it's better now with the wireless charger and the uh, case. Thanks for watching. See you guys down the road. Peace.